Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today I have a Paul John's whiskey on the cask and yeah, I dragged this a bit long. This is the Christmas edition 2018. And although I couldn't find an age statement on this bottle, we got from our supplier the uh, confirmation that it has seven years of age in this whiskey. So yeah, is it an age statement? Yes or no? Depends on how much you trust your suppliers. It was uh, matured, uh, the whiskey that was matured was unpeated and peated. So it is a mixture between a peated and unpeated whiskey. The peated whiskey from Paul John's are really, really peaty. And this one had a bourbon cask maturation and then a finish in Oloroso sherry, uh, sherry casks. And the thing is with Paul John's, if you have uh, watched my distillery video, I have a bit of a trouble with uh, moisture. That's because Paul John is in India. It's an Indian whiskey. And they are in, in an area that is really, really, really hot. And that has a lot of implications for our whiskey. First of all, we have a different kind of um, fermentation and um, the most important part is the, the maturation. So it is really, really warm. They do have a cellar that tends to be a bit colder, but they still have a very, very, very hot climate. Yeah, nice cork. And that means seven years of age in this uh, in this in this climate means it's it has a lot of lot of additive maturation because of the the um, interaction between the wood and the whiskey is very very high and therefore because it doesn't have so much duration as seven years then you don't have so much uh, subtractive maturation. So it tends to be a bit different, this whiskey. What they do say is they matured 18 months in yeah, sherry casks. So the finish is 18 months. Oh, it's a... It's a... It's a very, very fruity one. With, with sherry tones in it. But it's a fresh tropical fruit, fruity one. A little bit of citrus fruits in there, a little bit of papaya, a little bit of a... Yeah, citrus, again. <laughs> a little bit of pineapple, mild pineapple in there. And then you do have a reasonable amount of oak. And a little bit of roasted nuts, hazelnuts. Yeah, more like hazelnuts. Some nuttiness in there. Mmm. 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 Strong, intense fruitiness. 46% ABV. You really do realize it. Um, it's, um, it's strange because for, it's, you want to say, yeah, really mature whiskey with a, a lot of oak, a lot of maturation, a lot of stuff, but somehow you do realize, I want to say sharp overtones, but somehow it doesn't feel that mature in, in the mouth feel. It just feels very mature from the flavor. Oh yeah, these these extreme climates like you have in in India and in Goa where this distillery is makes a whiskey a lot lot different. It's it's a single malt, I think. Yeah, Indian single malt whiskey. But it from the when the intensity of the flavors, even though they have used casks, it comes very much along with the, the bourbon. It's not as sweet as the bourbon and Caramel vanilla like it's it does have a bit of that, but it's more of a really a fruit bomb. 
I talked with Michael quite a lot at the distillery and he said, yeah, we do have uh, this, this hot climate and the, the whiskeys there are tasted were strong and intense, but this one is, oh, this one is, is very close to the point of being over top. And you do have a lot of oak in there. It's not a bitter oak, but it's, it's just a lot of oak. So yeah, 2018 Christmas edition with alleged seven years of age, you do realize oh, this is pretty much the maximum I would go for with an, with an Indian single malt whiskey in that maturation in that kind of climate, because it's just so intense. I would say if you have a 10 year old, it's just, it's just gonna numb you because of the intensity of the oak flavor, but it's quite, it's quite, quite nice. So to have this kind of whiskey would is, is definitely one of the astray extreme kind of flavors, like a, a really smoky or a really rough rye whiskey. So it's, yeah, it's really intense flavor with wood. Interesting. Yeah. Indian single malt. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.